Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Please support me by subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that. In a recent video, I made new faces for these hammers, and I really like the brass hammer. And I picked this one up many years ago at a flea market, and today I'm gonna to make my version of a brass hammer. This will be a beginner lathe project. It's gonna consist of four parts. Piece of brass for the hammer head. Piece of aluminum for the handle. A roll pin to join the two pieces. And a piece of braided hose to add some comfort to the handle. Let's go over the lathe and work on these two pieces first. So first we're gonna work on the handle and it's 5 8 round aluminum. We're gonna face the first end off square. We're gonna flip the stock around and put a radius on the second end. With the aluminum stock flipped around, we're gonna face it, chamfer it, and then hit it with a file. And put a little radius on the end. With the handle finished, now we're gonna move on to the hammerhead. For the head, we're gonna face both ends off and put a chamfer, a groove on each end, and a chamfer on each side of that groove. First we gotta do is face it off. There will be a measured drawing at the end of this video showing all the dimensions. With the grooves on both sides and chamfers on both ends of the groove, I took time to polish it because once the handle's installed, it's gonna be a lot harder to polish. The groove diameter and width is really not critical. You just wanna make them look symmetrical. Let's take this over to the Bridgeport mill and install the handle. The diameter of the handle is 5 eighths, 625. We're gonna come in here and center drill, and then we're gonna drill 39 and then ream 5 eighths. Now the trick here is not to drill all the way through.
Now, before you change your setup, you want to check the handle. With the hammer handle in, now we've got to rotate it 90 degrees and drill a hole for our roll pin. We've stopped here, so all I got to do is loosen up the vise, rotate it 90 degrees. With the handle laying down at 90 degrees to the spindle, I put my digital level on there and I'm at zero. So that's like perfect. Come down and center drill and drill for the roll pin. Now we install the roll pin. Some people call it a split pin. This head's not gonna fly off anytime soon. Let's take it over to the bench and add a piece of a hose for a nice cushion on your hand. To add cushion to your hand, we're gonna have this braided vinyl hose slip right over the handle. I think this is the hardest part of the whole job. I got some diluted dish soap. I'm gonna spray that in the hose. And I'm gonna spray it on the handle. And you push it together but it always gets stuck. And you hit it with a two by four. And now to drive it the final distance, I got a socket over the handle. After that soap dries, it becomes kind of sticky and this isn't gonna come off at all. At the beginning of the video, I call this a beginner lathe project because there's no threading. All they're doing is facing grooving and a little radius on the end. I don't like threading the handle and then threading the head because they always seem to come loose. With that roll pin in there, this baby's never gonna come apart. So I'll add it to my collection of soft face and dead blow hammers. A lot of people ask me, well, what kind of projects can you make on a lathe? Well, this is a great example. Thank you for viewing. Please share this with your friends and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.